Welcome to another Wakanda Warfare Reviews. We got a a good one. This is the Avidity Arms PD-10. Let's get her open. All right. We got tons of goodies. Let's see. Discount code stickers. That's dope. Yeah. More discount codes. All right, we got some gun oil. Keep it wet. We got the two rounds that was tested. Does anybody else have like a thousand of these? Where can I sell these or something to get rid of them? Because I've never actually used one. What else we got? More stickers, screws. We got the manual. I like these uh, blown up shots like this. That looks dope. Show you anything you need to know. I think it's just black and white. Yeah. Black and white manual. Uh, what else we got? Get some more stuff out of the way. And there she is. Oh. Look at this beauty right here. Yeah. Avidity Arms PD-10. If you're like Avidity, who's that? I've never heard of him. Well, me neither until not too long ago. They popped up on my uh, Instagram. You could follow them on their Instagram page. And I was like, this is nice. This is nice. Let me show clear, right? Yeah, we're clear. And it comes with two 10-round uh, mags, or I think, actually, I think it's 10 plus one. Yeah, two 10 plus one mags. They're both clear, and as you can see, they are single stack. The single stack mags. PD-10 is bringing the single stacks back? That's the question at hand. Look how thin this is. You see? That's the advantage of having a single stack. Because I could carry this, and you could never know. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So yeah, this is a single stack striker fire polymer frame pistol. We got the optic ready with the logo up top. That's clean. Avidity, avidity arms. I had to look that word up. It means extremely eagerness or extreme eagerness or enthusiasm. So there you go. Um, I think the frame only come in two color, either black or gray. But uh, speaking of the frame, I love this uh, this grip they got right here, the little triangles, if you can see, with, the, with that logo on the back. All right, this is dope. It does a really good job. Um, they've got the, uh, the, the thumb rest, the finger rest, or the little ledge right here for extra grip already built into it. The three slot Picatinny. All right. Um, you don't have nothing on the front of the trigger guard for my Michelec fans. Um, the only knock I could say, oh, they also have this uh, cutout right here for uh, if you need to get that extra grip on stripping the mag, which they got more now. I'll come back to that in a minute. But the only knock I would say about uh, this grip is the lack of texture right in this area right here. So. This could be uh, just a personal thing, but for me, you know, I get a really high grip and you can see where the meat of my palm touches the gun. It's right in that area. So I don't have any, um, this is perfect for this hand, but when this hand comes, the only part that actually meets the gun is the meat of this palm. So I don't have any, traction up in here. I wish they would have continued this up in here somewhere. That would give me enough 
to keep my hand from slipping. But, you know, I could put some grip tape on it or something. Or take it to my guy, Rick Actual, and have him re stipple the whole thing. But, not bad. Not bad. Uh, speaking on ripping out Max, the Max come with this little, uh, let's see if you can see, that little claw right there. Magazine claw on the base plate. So, in the event you have a catastrophic malfunction, you know what I mean? You can grab that and rip them out. All right. Uh, the PD-10 comes chambered in 9 mil or 30 Super Carry, which is crazy. I remember when the 30 Super Carry first came out and I'm thinking, man, this might replace the 9 mil because you get more rounds. And if capacity is all people care about, then uh, I mean, it hits a little less than the 9 mil, but it's more than the 380, and you get like two more rounds for the same size. But I haven't seen many people. Uh, I think Smith and Me Smith and Wesson was the first that I know of to make a 30 super carry. But maybe uh, Avidity can bring the 30 super carry back. So with the 30 super carry, this could hold 12. So now. You know, the only knock on single stacks, obviously, is the lack of capacity. But if you got 30 super carry, and you got 12 rounds and a full size, uh, is it full size or compact size? This might be full size, I don't know. But now, you know, it's kind of hard to complain about capacity if capacity is all you actually care about. If capacity is all you care about, then the single stack is not making a comeback for you. But, I mean, if you want to conceal it better, then yeah. Look at this, look how thin this is. This is one inch thick at the widest point. One inch thick. It's a total of 18.8 uh, .8 ounces. So you could compare this to a 1911. These actually look like 1911 Max. The only difference is because it's polymer lower, you know, it's a lot lighter than a 1911, your typical 1911. And it comes optic ready. That's the RMSC footprint. Um, I didn't test it with a red dot on it. I wanted to keep it all natural in case something went wrong. So I could, you know, know that it was just a gun and not because I added the extra weight on the optic, but uh, but uh, I'm definitely gonna throw a dot on it. Y'all know me, I'm red dot everything. Red dot everything. Look at this uh, front sight, large, the large bright front sight. I mean, once I put the dot on it, then that won't even matter. Uh, blacked out rears. Oh, I didn't even notice this. They got the logo right here on the back plate. Look at that. If you can, my phone will focus. Yeah, that's dope. The uh, MSRP on the PD-10 is 625. 625, and that's not bad. That's not bad, look at this. I like how it fits in my hand. I took it out to the range. I went to the indoor range and immediately was reminded of why I don't go to indoor ranges no more. But uh, I went to the indoor range and um, it was nice. It, it, it felt, uh, what's the word? Like, it felt like I can control it so much more better. Maybe because it's so slim and I can really squeeze down on it and control it. This thing is accurate. to a 1911 I have. And um, since they're both single stack and about the same size, about the same capacity, the only thing is the 1911 is heavier. So um, I'll post the picture of the targets. This is the 1911 I was shooting. And this is the PD-10. So yeah, this thing is accurate. 
The one knock that I can, uh, well, I talked about the um, lack of texture up in here, but I had a problem with uh, the magazine follower tilting as well. So I had to really pay attention to loading the ammo and getting it all the way back. Cause if not, the, the ammo wouldn't load correctly and it gets stuck in there. So I had to take my time and make sure I loaded this all the way back for it to go correctly. Uh, looks like if they had a anti-tilt thing in it, then it'd be fine. I don't know if the PD-10 is compatible with your standard 1911 9mm mags. Uh, actually, hold on one second, let's try it. Alright, here we go with the PD-10 and a 1911 mag. Now you can see the difference in uh, the followers, how, uh, how they're designed. And maybe this helps prevent that tilt. But let's see if it'll fit. Oh, look at that. It sticks out a bit, but it fits. Magazine ejects. It locks back. All right. I should have tried it at the range now. See if it'll actually feed. If this can take your typical 1911 mag, then that's dope. Even because, you know, I got a ton of these laying around. But yeah. The PD-10 from Avidity Arms. Single stack comeback. What you think? One. I love them.